Good evening and uh, welcome to a new video from Northern uh, Norway. And you might see it on the vlogging camera. It has a really nice Northern light and it's just behind the cabin. A uh, couple of minutes ago I was inside my cabin and then my wife called me and she told me, hey, there's another light, you have to get out. So I just grabbed my cameras and get out here and uh, uh, try uh, to do image of Northern Light dancing behind the cabin. Um, this is not the perfect location because there's so much um, artificial light here which uh, destroys a little bit uh, the composition. Or this, not destroy it but make it a little bit more difficult to uh, take uh, images of the Northern Light. Oh this is beautiful. It's not a perfect uh, spot here uh, to take an uh, image of uh, the northern light with a cabin because we have so much uh, light pollution here. Uh, we have the street lights here, uh, the light from the house and that's the street so cars are driving by and sometimes they uh, lighten up uh, the house too so it makes it a little bit diffi more difficult to um, compensate a little bit especially for the house what I've done is that I'm using a square filter in front of my lens uh, I have it on a on 16 millimeter um, I have one of two filters in front of my lens now one uh, night filter the night filter uh, is supposed to make the light more natural and then I have a GND a graduated neutral density filter where you have one part is uh, uh, on the filter is dark and the other one is uh, light. So you have uh, so I can. Sorry, I just had to take pictures because the light is dancing and I try to get a nice image. Uh, and what I've done is the darker part of the filter is covering the house, but now you see that the all the house is. Uh, lighten up by the car uh, passing by here but the darker part of the filter is covering the house so that I have when I oh, now it's dancing what nice it's a nice northern light but uh, at this point it's just uh, green no other colors But when the darker part is over the house, oh, now I have broken my hand in front of, my, of, of the lens. That's not good. But uh, then I am hopefully get a right exposure of the house without burning out uh, the lights of the house and have uh, the northern light dancing behind the house. Uh, you all, I also can see the mountain behind Bilaya uh, because tonight we have not a full moon but we have moonlight uh, so uh, that makes it a really nice scenery the other thing which is not really good is because of the light i have a lot of shadows from my uh, tripods my cameras myself uh, which destroy a little bit my uh, my composition but i might uh, can remove it in photoshop that we get the shadows uh, away then I can a little bit uh, crop and uh, cut in the image so that I get a, a nice image at the end. For the settings I do, I have, I have, uh, uh, or my, I might uh, take the uh, vlogging camera a little bit closer so I can show you. Okay, here you see my settings. Uh, right now I have two seconds f28 uh, so I open the uh, lens as much as possible and 
ISO just 2500, so that's not very high. Um, and then here you see my histogram, and you see it's very exposed to the left. So everything, because everything is dark, the sky is dark. But uh, the most important thing is that I don't uh, burn out uh, the lights of the house. So I, uh, and that's looks very nice. So I do not burning out anything. I might even can uh, have a higher exposure, uh, not exposure. Uh, shutter speed but uh, I think two seconds is uh, it's okay and let me see when I now take a picture and there you have the house with the northern light Yes, now the, the northern light moved a little bit more to the left. Um, it's not really behind the house anymore. So I might, we might go down uh, to the shoreline and see if I'm able to uh, get some uh, images of the island with the northern light. Okay, now we are moved down here to to the shoreline, and yes, uh, actually this looks nice. I have these uh, trees lying just in front of me, and right now I got a really nice northern light over the island. The same settings: two seconds, f 2.8, ISO 2500. Now I'm not using any more the square filters because I do not have any light in front of me. But yes, now the loss of light that looks very nice, and you even can see a little bit of the other colors, a little bit purple. Fantastic. Sorry, my, uh, the battery of my vlogging camera ended. Now I just have my uh, other camera and uh, there's so much northern light. Now that I just had to shoot, uh, I will be uh, back uh, to you a little bit later. And one moment, I can show you the images down here. One moment. 
Look at this. Perfect. See you later. What a crazy evening. Uh, I was inside the cabin and then my co uh, wife called me. I just ran out and uh, I'm not sure how this uh, video uh, will be or how, how it will end up. Uh, I was a little bit hasty because I was a little bit afraid that the loss of light just uh, appears and then uh, uh, disappears and uh, I am not able to do any video. So uh, everything went very fast. But I think I was able to take a few images of this house with the northern light in the background using the square filters and then uh, I walked down to the shoreline uh, with this island Uloya in the background with this mountain uh, covered in snow and uh, I think uh, I got uh, some nice images over there the northern light was nice and I think I even saw a little bit of the uh, purple colors in the northern light so I think you like uh, I think I hope you like this video uh, please if uh, feel free to hit the like button or even leave a comment so thanks for watching and uh, see you next time